Hello! It's been a while since we've done one of these. Today, we are ranking the very best and worst of Cartier watches. If you follow this channel, you know I have a deep love of Cartier watches. My watch collecting journey began with a Cartier. My first nice watch was a Cartier Tank Solo, which I have worn a lot, as you can see by the state of it. So let's rank some Cartier watches. Let's sort through these. You know how this works. The highest grade goes all the way to the top tier, which I will resemble by drawing a fire emoji thing. Then all the way down here at the bottom, the lowest grade, which is the watches that I hate, and you will probably hate, will be resembled by this poop emoji that I'm drawing. Maturity. Sophistication. So we've got fire, heart eyes, smiley face, yawn, and poop as our official ranking system. So I thought, let's start this one off happy. Let's start this one off on a high note. A nice easy one. The Cartier Tank. And I give this watch no tear. Yeah, you thought this video was going to start off nice and straightforward, did you? Is that what you thought was going to happen? No. You thought this was a simple cut and dry thing, did you? No. No, not on my watch. Pun intended. Do you really think we can grade a Cartier Tank must the same as we rank the Cartier Tank Centre? Of course not. I'm going to make this so much more difficult and complicated than it ever needed to be. I'm breaking this down into five categories of the tank. So, one, the Cartier Tank Must, two, the Americaine, three, the Francais, four, the Tank Louis, and five, the Cintre. So let's start this off with the Tank Must. Hard eyes. Even this, even just the Cartier Tank Must is a gross oversimplification. So this category covers everything from the all black quartz movement variation to the solar beat. There is no arguing with the must. Beautiful watch, icon of Cartier. This is a great entry level watch into the brand. The only thing holding it back from being fire is it's probably a little bit expensive for what it is, but it's a Cartier Tank. It's in a league of its own, in my humble opinion. Hard eyes. The American. Smiley face. Nothing wrong with it, just missing a little je ne sais quoi for me. First introduced in 1995 in white gold, then in steel in 2017, it's a tank with a slightly longer case that wraps around the wrist. Something about the proportions just doesn't do it for me, but if you insist on mechanical, the medium and large variations are manual wind. The tank francais. Meh. Yawn, nothing wrong with it. It just does nothing for me. Sorry. Okay, next, the Tank Louis. Straight fire, straight fire. Straight to the top, let's go. Fight me on the mineral glass if you need to, I don't care. This is an icon of Cartier. Designed by Louis Cartier himself in 1917, this watch was inspired by the new revolutionary Renault military tanks during World War I. If it was me and my money, I'd be getting the smaller manual wind variation in rose gold. But if you have a larger wrist or prefer things a little bit larger, the large is awesome too. The guilloche, the proportions, everything is just The only possible complaint that I can find is the mineral glass rather than sapphire. I don't know why they do that. Lastly is a Centre. I would get the skeletonized version, so that's the one I picked. Straight fire. Come on. To the top. The tiffy tiffy top. The only skeleton watch I've ever been interested in, the Centre is kind of like the grandfather of the American, but a hundred times better and way out of my price point. Next watch, we have the Cartier Ballon Bleu. Now this is a watch I find completely fascinating. I think it's such a pretty watch, but it's never tempted me into wanting to buy it for whatever reason. I think it is so pretty and interesting and a watch with a lot of personality, but has never pushed me over into wanting to buy it. Looking at the 40 millimeter variation, it has the 1847 MC automatic movement. So the same movement that is in the Santos de Cartier. <sighs> to me, this is a textbook smiley face watch. So the next watch is a watch I am not capable of being level-headed and unbiased about. <laughs> the Cartier Santos. 
Straight fire. Straight to the top. Come on. No messing about. The greatest watch. In my incredibly biased opinion. This is the other icon of Cartier. So the Santos has one of the most prominent places in horological history, being the first modern men's wristwatch. Created in 1911 by Louis Cartier for his good friend and aviator, Alberto Santos Dumont, who complained about how impractical his pocket watch was while flying. There is a Santos for every wrist size, quartz, mechanical, whatever you want, there is a Santos for you. I'm actually wearing my small Cartier Santos Dumont right now. So the Dumont is the dressier option of the two. Sticking more true to the original design of Louis Cartier on the leather strap with no date, no crown guards, or no seconds hand. On the other hand, the Santos de Cartier is the more sporty option of the two on the bracelet, automatic caliber movement, and a seconds hand. There are no bad choices with the Santos. It is where heritage, great design, and fashion intersect. Okay, so next we have the Pasha. If you're sat here watching this video thinking, oh, Brittany, I wish there was a Genta design Cartier. Wish no further. The Pasha de Cartier feels equal parts un-Cartier and so-Cartier all at the same time. I like to think of it as the Cartier interpretation of a sports watch. The Arabic numerals crown cover, a distinctly round oversized case, and sometimes even bought with a metal grid to go over the dial. It is just such a weird watch that I have a massive soft spot for. Introduced in 1985, this watch was a tribute to the Pasha of Marrakesh, who was a lifelong customer of Louis Cartier. It drew inspiration from an archival model dating back to 1943. I think this is such a cool, underrated watch. It, it's not one that's for everyone, but it's one that's definitely for me. Hard eyes. Okay, the next watch is the Panther de Cartier. I think this is just such an attractive and pretty watch. I already know the cool girl who's wearing this and like, it's a girl I wanna be friends with, you know? But I cannot in good conscience rate this one as high as I want to rate this one. Oh, so with a heavy heart, I put the Panther de Cartier somewhere between hard eyes and smiley face. Oh, that might be too high. It has to, it has to go down to smiley. There's even a perfectly good argument for it to be in the yawn section. Nope. Following my gut, smiley. If you are a Cartier lover, it has all those classic Cartier design features you love. Square case shape, perfect proportions, and it is just so pretty. But for a watch geek, that's where the love kind of begins and ends. There is no mechanical version of this available. I think one could try to make the case that this is a watch that is designed to function more as a piece of jewelry than as a watch. I would disagree with this person because anything that obviously tells the time is made to function as a watch. <laughs> It's just more of a pretty watch. It just doesn't have all those features watch geeks particularly look for. But it's obviously made to function as a watch. Okay. It's just a pretty watch. A watch that prioritizes aesthetics over complicated watchmaking. I also think this could be an important watch for Gen Z collectors. Within the Instagram world and the influencer world, the it girls, this is a watch that I see a lot in that space. And it is a really aspirational timepiece for a lot of my girlfriends. Plus, Keith Richards wore one. And so did Piers Brosnan. So it's also the watch for men who are comfortable in their manliness and don't need a Panerai to prove it. Ah, <laughs> oh, that one might get me in trouble in the comments. <laughs> okay, last watch we're looking at today. It's one of my all-time favorites. It's a watch we're not talking about enough. The Tortu. Dream watch for me is, of course, the Mono Pusher. But let's be realistic here. I'm gonna go on their website. Oh my goodness, I'm on their website. The Tortu is gone. The category still exists, but there's no watches here anymore. That I felt betrayed. And you think they're trying to get rid of you? Uh, Honestly, uh, I should not say that, I don't know, but listen, I. Cartier, please, 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 please don't discontinue this watch altogether. Maybe, maybe they're just getting us all excited and wound up to release 
a limited edition beautiful mono pusher for watches and wonders oh i'm genuinely upset about this look at this look at this i had all the cutouts ready <laughs> well now that that's gone i could talk about the rond i don't have a rond de cartier cut out here i'll get another one tomorrow I personally don't like the Ronde Cartier as much as I like the rest of the current catalog, but I see the appeal in it and I understand why people like it so much. Really great entry level watch to the brand, especially the Ronde Must at 40 millimeters, automatic 1847 MC movement. To me, it looks like a watch that can't decide if it wants to be sporty or dressy. So it has the sporty seconds hand, automatic movement, date function, available on the bracelet, but then it only has 30 meters water resistance, no crown guards. I don't know, there's just something missing for me here. But I do understand why people like it so much. If I had to rank it, I would probably put it somewhere between smiley and yawn. Sorry, Rond lovers. I'm so sorry. Oh, is that too harsh? Like it can't be below the panther. Okay, I'm moving it up to the smiley. I was just a little bit upset and emotional because of the Tortu news, okay? <laughs> Anyways, this is the official, legally speaking, the legally binding Cartier ranking tier list. I'm so sorry if any of you are offended with my ranks. I didn't mean to do that, but this is official. I feel like the Ronde Cartier people are gonna come for me on this one. <laughs> Anyways, I've talked long enough. Like, comment, subscribe, do all that YouTube stuff, and tell me what you think of my official ranking system. All right. Hit him with the Patron song. Ooh, 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 it's a Patron song. Thank you, patrons. Hope to patrons for supporting my YouTube channel. Yeah.